Hello everyone. In this new UWS video, we will learn how to use Ajax in order to periodically refresh an HTML page to get some values coming from our Unreal uh, project, your our Unreal game. For this tutorial, I have already added the puzzle content pack to my project. So as you can see, we have a puzzle, puzzle BP uh, folders. I will open my puzzle example map. Okay, if I test, we have a simple puzzle which increment a score each time a puzzle has been clicked okay and we will try to get this uh, score um, in a web page for instance uh, to allow someone to watch the, the current uh, score of your game during uh, your play okay so to do that we will um, add UWS Unreal Web Server into this blueprint, which is the main blueprint of the puzzle example uh, project. We have a score variable which is increased each time a score has been uh, set. Okay, and a text render is updated with this score. Okay, so I will add UWS initialization into this blueprint using a little sequence. Okay, here I will get or create web server instance. Okay, start. Okay, I need to start a new server because we are not in the in the in our previous map so we don't have the blueprint which initializing the web server so we have to restart in the web server okay slash my document root is still html okay and i will add a point query and with a slash get score for instance my callback method will be here get score callback oh by the way i didn't talk about this but you can use wildcards into the path for instance get score star will allow you to call uh, URL with a get score test, get score X, get score one, get score everything you want, it will work. Okay. So we will execute this in game thread because we will retrieve the score during the game thread. Okay, get score. We will send response using a construct response x and the, the content will be the score the simplest endpoint possible okay okay if i save if i open my edge if i start if i call get score we are zero one two three for instance get score at three okay it works now the next step is to add some javascript in our web page in order to automatically get 
this core updated periodically okay so let's open our HTML file uh, here no sorry here okay I'll add a um, score.html file okay My score.html is empty and I add Ajax code in order to retrieve a variable. Okay, so HTML. This is a full website of UWS plugin. If you don't know web at all it will be hard for you to create such page okay if you know web you can uh, look on stack overflow or other website in other in order to retrieve some uh, code sample for instance this is a code sample um, to get to get uh, using jQuery to get uh, periodically a value, uh, sorry, an endpoint. For instance, here I will get score and I will load it into into uh, my body into a div. Okay, and my div will be named id score. Okay, hashtag score. Okay, and here I will remove it from the head and I will add it here. This is not reload chat, this is reload score. Okay periodically each each second okay each second this vary this div will be updating with the content of get score uh, value okay and okay I will add uh, I will add and Play end with get or create with the wrong instance. Stop web server. Okay. Okay. And now the get score variable is still zero. Okay. And if we use score.html file, okay the value is automatically get and what happened if I use side view okay one two three four five six eight okay and it works perfect now we can add some beautifulness around our web page, for instance, current score. Okay, current score. This one. We can add. Once again, we can add. Uh, CSS if we want, we can add a bootstrap for instance, we can add a title score okay, we can add any other javascript we want for instance we can um, open a pop-up each time the score has been updated okay we can also improve this 
in Unreal uh, side, okay, we can do anything we want here. Okay, I hope this little video with uh, Ajax usage in Unreal Web Server will help you. I hope to see you soon for a new video. Goodbye.